big world out there that I wanted you to be able to experience. And we had to wake up really early because um, it takes a long time to go to Flagstaff. And how to snowboard, all the components of a snowboard, and like how to fall properly without hitting yourself. And definitely getting up after falling is a hard part. It was my first time ever seeing snow, so that was quite a fun experience. But I also learned like the dynamics of like like how they test out where the like how the hill slanted and like how to go down it correctly without like going into the forest. We got a teacher and he was teaching us the basics of it. When it was uh, we turned to like uh, try it, uh, I was the first one to go. The snowboard dug into the snow and fell immediately on my knees. Uh, really fun. Most uh, of the kids for them to see it for the first time. Probably must have been exciting. We never really get to experience that most of the time. I think it was a really good experience and like everyone should at least try it once to see if like they like it and they probably will because it's, it's like just so, so fun. Definitely have to say like a huge thanks to my eighth grade teachers and my principal Miss Nash. It's really a fun experience that I was chosen to go to and yes they took a really big risk with this but it was a good experience. In life, you can't just give up on one certain thing. It's like for skiing, you just have to keep going and then you'll get better on later on because practice makes perfect. I just uh, appreciate that we were able to provide this opportunity to our students. These are amazing uh, children that I'm expecting big things from and I just uh, appreciate that they took advantage of it and that they had a good time. They all come with a great energy to my classes and they do seem to be enjoying the material, but I just, I know that being on a computer from 8 a.m. to 2, 10 p.m. is a lot of time for them to be staring. At the twilight's last gleaming broad stripes and bright stars. Describing words that could describe what a violin sounds like. I think singing is very important for playing instruments. I think if you can hear things and make them come out with your mouth, you're much more likely to hear any kinds of you know, musical discrepancies or you know, mistakes that are made when you're playing an instrument if you have that tuned ear. It's definitely not something I ever expected to be doing, you know, teaching these kinds of things online, all being very performance based. Dance is a little more complicated. I often find myself um, setting my camera up on my little table over there and angling it so they could see me standing and I'm doing a lot of the dance moves in front of them and I'm asking them to all participate and dance as well. We just finished our ballet unit so we learned like the fundamentals of ballet. And I feel like sometimes they think that, you know, they're crazy because we're making loud siren noises. <laughs> Their families are in the house and they're like, what are you doing? And I'm afraid my neighbors are going to come knocking on the door like, what are you doing in there? <laughs> there are only so many times a day that my neighbors can deal with me making those noises or saying, and plie, two, three, four, really loudly before um, I'm sure someone's going to kick me out. <laughs> I have experienced in larger choirs, like when people try to sing and Zoom just closes. It just crashes the entire app and it falls. Um, so for what I've been doing, most of the time has been having them mute themselves when we do warm ups and so I see them participating and I'm just trusting that they're following along and matching my pitch. Through the perilous fight. But that's mostly how I'm handling it right now. It is a struggle to kind of do it in the moment because if I have them all unmute themselves, the app might crash or it might sound like demons trying to take over my computer. Um, when in reality, it's just some you know sweet middle school kids trying to sing some songs.
Extrañamos sus sonrisas. Extrañamos sus caras maravilladas cuando aprenden algo nuevo. Pero les agradecemos que se queden en su casa. Estamos muy agradecidos de haber podido proveerle tecnología a nuestros alumnos. Y proveer alimentación durante el proceso. Este ciclo escolar ha terminado y estamos más fuertes que nunca. Porque salimos adelante. One team, una familia. One team, una familia. Elbows, elbows, woo! The best part about it today is when they're coming up, they have balloons in the car and their cars are decorated and, you know, they have class of 2024 because they know that that's where they're headed. And so to see us, even though the digital divide has kept us this apart with the COVID-19, Nothing's going to stop us from at least making that connection, that high five from far away. It's not better than going into the cafeteria and just graduating there. But like honestly, at least you still get to talk to the teacher right here. Great idea. At least they had something for the kids, you know, taking off. And it's great to see the teachers put all their effort into it for the kids' sake. How can we get to them? And so we said, social distancing, it's hot. Let's drive through, but let's get them here. That the mixed emotions, the tears that we're seeing is, is really impactful, but we know that this is not going to be forever, and we want to know where they are in the next year or two, and that, you know, we're thinking we'll probably have some kind of reunion, so those hugs that they're asking for that we all want, and those cheers and celebrations and those high fives and handshakes, we'll be doing that again. They care about like our future and what we're going to be in the future. I'm going to go to Metro and go to college and keep going. Slowly get into college and yeah. Congratulations, sir. You should be proud. Well, we need them to go to college. We need them to be that next generation leading us into our, um, our future years. So thank you. It's so great to hear that they're saying about college. It's working. We are one team, una familia. We come together um, with our students, we come together with our parents, we come together as a staff, and we know that we can do anything when we are that one team, that una familia.